have at least one more map coming to Splatoon 3, and it's probably gonna get announced pretty soon after this video. And tell me why it can't be Snapper Canal, not this. No, 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 no. People are very emotionally attached to Splatoon 2, even now. You won't silence me! <laughs> Rectangular, as far as the eye can see. Rectangle map. One of Splatoon 3's big gimmicks is that you can always drop into a few spots when playing on Snapper Canal. You could go here, you could end up flying in like right there maybe, or you could choose to start closer to this side. You have a lot of options because the map is rectangular! It's not a, it's not a Tetris block, you can't even start talking about that on this one. You see me try to squid roll immediately there? <laughs> the only blocks here are all the blocks that are littered across this map. I would hope they wouldn't take away all the random blocks if they brought this map into Splatoon 3, you know? And just like in Splatoon 3, you've got lots of little places you can go to fire at people as they come running at you. And you even have somewhere a little silly. Okay, just hear me out on this. Imagine you're fighting against somebody in Splatoon 3. You've got your weapon with your triple splashdown. You're making haste, you're making chase. You give them a run for their money. They hop across you, try to splash down them. You miss! Into the drink you go. The classic. I think that they would laugh about that. After all, tower control on Mahi exists. Some people out there, I'd argue, still miss when Crab Tank was super meta, right? Crab spot here. Crab spot right here. Disgusting crab spot right here. You even have the ability to bail onto the grates if you try really, really hard. Imagine placing yourself right here and just watching the opponents fly on in. <laughs> oh yeah! We could talk about other specials too. All these little blocks and things all over the place would make this map so good for Zipcaster. In fact, I'm pretty sure, like as long as you're standing like, around here, you'd probably be able to zip over to the other slanted wall over here. When people come dropping down from here, you could try to plan your zip just to perfectly like bink around this corner and probably get a really yummy kill. Do you think that this would be zip castable right here? You know, Splatoon 3 does love its poles. This is another point in Snapper Canal's direction. The devs were ahead of their time with this pole. In fact, you know what? I'm taking a picture of this. When you when you see this tweet go out, like before the video, you're gonna be very curious about why I posted it, but you'll know. You'll know, this is a surprise tool for later. <laughs> uh, and just how Splatoon 3 would want it, look. Can't take the flank path on this map because it's turf war. <laughs> I mean, this flank path works in some of the modes, which is nice. And pencil lovers, you can rejoice because there's plenty of turf for you to work with to spam all your coolers. <laughs> all you gotta do, you just walk out this way and you start going to put a bam, put a boom, put a bink, put a bop. I don't think I have any special charge on this build right now. And this is <laughs> this is splat charger. Um, what am I doing like this? <laughs> that real that real painting ASMR. Am I right? And the. <laughs> And just like that, boom! My cooler, yes, I am so using cooler right now. I'm throwing my explosive drinks. Mm -hmm. And then I set up with my snipe writer and my splash wall here, and I deny access as folks come running on in. It just feels like a lot of weapons would work well on this map and still do, given the amount of ground coverage you have and the amount of places that you can go. Just don't turn this area back here into an uninkable. I think, I think people would cry. <laughs> I would, I would have at least a tier, maybe even two. Guys, I'm gonna be so real with you. One of the biggest things I miss when playing Snapper Canal, whether I'm playing on Machine, whether I'm playing tri or whether I'm playing Explo like this, it's being able to fire at things on the other side of this little area here, like across the river. You could do it with all the buckets, really, and you could do it in many spots, but this is like one of the best ones. Because you can just go from one side to the other and just keep blocking people off. It's gross. It's, it's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> all right, we live in a world where we know that Big Bubbler is definitely getting stronger with every passing day. Imagine putting the Big Bubbler up here Putting your teammate over here too, like Hydra with Big Bubbler or something. <laughs> Yuck! Gross! Give it to me, <laughs> please. 
With how paintable that area is anyway, you wouldn't be too safe. Someone could just come underneath like a roller and get you. Honestly, with how like non-linear this map is, it still has a linear enough feel to it in my opinion, where I feel like you could get away with putting it in Splatoon 3. Because you have two main paths that you want to go, and you can kind of cross between them. That seems to be the vibe of certain Splatoon 3 maps anyway. And like, we already put Boof and Depot back in the game, which has one drop on the left-hand side, one drop on the right-hand side, so you can go in two separate paths, so why not, why not do it again? Why not do it again but Splatoon 2 edition? Yes! Yes! Like, if you fire missiles at your opponents here, just like Boof and Depot, you can probably get out of the way of them. Same for like Stingray slash KillerL 5.1. You can just walk out of the way. If you're bunched up and you get attacked by it, oops, that's your fault. I say this from experience. I've blown up all the time from both of these specials. Come on, don't you want to see this opening screen again? But in Splatoon 3 for the Nintendo Switch? To booyah with your teammates on Snapper Canal? I would have laughed if, <laughs> if none of them booyahed while I was recording this. <laughs> Like, honestly, when you're, like, back here, getting backed into a corner by a weapon, like a dual squelter, for example, dual e squelter, oh my god, it really has that Splatoon 3 vibe, you know? Bada bing! All right, and now we make our chase. So we can catch someone. Yeah! Does it bring back memories if you play it on this map? Jumping to a teammate, taking the flank on the right-hand side. Not like that. Taking the flank on the right-hand side. Someone sees you over there because you took too long. Ah, memories. So you wait a moment and you try it again just to succeed. To succeed, I was going to say, just to get shot at, but it kind of worked out. This game is not doing it justice, but clearly you can see how big of a map Snapper Canal is, right? This is a map where if you're running around all willy-nilly on turf war, you can get stupid paint, stupid points. The same could be said about Humpback Pump Track, one of my favorite maps in Splatoon 2 that moved on to Splatoon 3. If you don't die like I am right now, you just kind of get to eat and get a bunch of money, which is always welcome. The more big maps we have, the better just for that purpose alone. Excuse me, but I have a game of Snapper Canal to win. I'll see you in Splatoon 3. I would have laughed if we actually lost that <laughs> after I said that. <laughs> okay, okay, bye-bye. Can I have the gift of prophecy one more time? That'd be nice.